National Tire Week continues, and why not talk to a race car driver, one that loves to win. He drives the trucks in NASCAR, he drives the Nationwide and the Sprint Cup. Three different cars all going fast, and is it true, Ryan, that you can actually feel when the pressure is not right on the tires? Yeah, you can. Uh, you know, we rely so much on our racing tires, just like everyone else should rely on their street tires. Of, you know, you see tire problems all the time with us, and that's really just because our tire gets worn out, and it, you know, eventually get low pressure and it blows out. So we have to be very aware, and, and tire guys on our team are so important to us to make sure the tires are right and up to pressure to let us go run 200 miles an hour on them. Uh, so you can definitely fear when you have a problem with it, just like you should feel if you have a problem with the street tire. Well, that certainly is interesting. And Ryan, I know you race for the Fame team, the Penske team. Now, are you in their garage right now? I am. You know, you can see all my guys working uh, on our future cars from Nationwide Series to the Cup Series. So they're hard at work. And we had a lot of noise here in my last interview. Good thing they're not uh, working too hard and to making a bunch of noise back there so I can hear you. <laughs> well, that certainly is funny. I'm glad it is a little more peace and quiet, even though I love when they're changing the tires. Now let's get to it. Speaking of tires, it's Tire National Safety Week, and uh, what tips should we know, Ryan? Well, you know, there's a few things that you can do. Uh, always make sure your tire's up to pressure. That's using a tire gauge. And also we can use Abe Lincoln's head on a penny. Uh, that's a neat trick that we use. And if you can see the top of Abe's head, your tire's usually worn out. Uh, as you can see, this is a brand new tire that uh, we can def not see any of his head, so it's uh, good to go. So that's a couple tricks we like to use here to you can apply to your, your street tire. Well, that is certainly an interesting use of a penny. I've never heard of that before, but moving on, I know you're a man that loves speed. Tell us where you got that fascination. Well, you know, I grew up in it, and it's a very, very cool sport. And, you know, where else can you go 200 miles an hour and, and not get pulled over by the police? Uh, you know, that's, that's something that uh, we like to brag about. But, uh, you know, like I said, I grew up in it. My family did it, and it was such an easy thing for me to, to kind of grow up with and, and start doing at a young age. So. Uh, like I said, fortunate to be in the position I'm at and, and really fortunate to be talking to you, Colin. Well, Ryan, one thing's for sure. I'm glad you slowed down to talk to us on this interview and given your tremendous success on and off the track. What advice would you give to the rest of us? Well, you know, you always got to believe in it 100%. Uh, you know, sometimes things can get you down and, and maybe you have a bad game or a bad race and, and you think you kind of start second guessing yourself, but you always have to you know, think positive and it's sometimes it's hard to do, but uh, I catch myself doing it sometimes, but you always have to stay positive and, and believe that you can do it and, and uh, know that you deserve the chance to be there. Well, you certainly do it well, Ryan. Congratulations, be safe on the track and we look forward to seeing you in Victory Lane. All right, thank you for having me, Colin.